there then somewhere. Beautiful. Nice one. Thanks, mate. You're very complimentary. Thank you. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Hello. Right. How are you doing? Where have you come from today, Jason? I've come from Leyland. Alright, not too far then. No, no. no just do me paperwork. You got a bit of crack on the screen. Yes, yeah, it's been there, been there forever. <laughs> War wounds uh, already. Yeah. <laughs> What do you normally drive? Uh, I drive an Audi A4. So uh, that's good, good solid workhorse. Aye, aye. I'm a bit of a VAG loyalty, loyalist. Uh, I'm a, I am a Skoda man myself. So, so uh, never thought I'd say that. But, <laughs> no, uh, no, there's there nothing wrong go. with that. Nothing wrong with that. Tell you Skoda what, and proud son. Best car I've ever had. We've got a VRS Octavia, and I love it. Absolutely love yeah. it. it. Just does everything. Uh, the two litre turbos now, or were they originally one eight? I've, I've got, um, it's a 1.8 diesel turbo. Oh, the diesel, right, okay, so that would have been the seven. So mine's. Some four? No, because that's a two litre. So you're looking at 130. No, 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 it's one, uh, no, it's 174. 174? Yeah, but maybe it's two <laughs> All I know is on a long journey I get 60 to the gallon out of it. Yes, mine which does I'm that. I'm very happy with. Mine's do, mine does that on the remap. It's uh, 2003. Yeah. 1.9. Um, but it's on the remap. It's through 130 PS remap to about 150 there or thereabouts. Yeah. So I'm not giving it the full, full tune in on it because it's it's an old engine. It's done 100 and odd thousand miles. <laughs> It's just run in. Yeah, it's I know. In. I know. Um, so you've been out. What have you done already? You've been out in the. I've been in the R8, but I've, I, I know, I say I know this track, but the conditions are different to what I last right. used it. What last have you done before? Uh, about twenty year ago, right. I was on like a race course thing in an RS eighteen hundred. Uh, okay. Uh, which was actually yeah. here, so I, I know and I'm familiar with the track, but. Um, Obviously, what I've just come to realise in the R8 is just certain little habits that I do or I've done. Everyone, that, everyone has that. Which I've kind of done over time, kind of my boy racer age yeah, yeah. stage and everything. And so, if you're doing a lot of stuff on on road, your brain is automatically yeah, tuned yeah. To, to road driving. Yeah. So yeah. Habits. So don't worry. That's a common common thing. Yeah. Um, so just quickly, when we're on track, as you would have done in the early, I'm going to look after the mirrors for you. Yeah. Um, if there's anything behind, I'll let you know. Okay. Otherwise, just forget what's behind. Okay. Um, and obviously, that's going to be a car wants to come by. So right. I'll okay. tell you which side of the circuit we need to go on. I'll indicate for them, and they'll come by. Right. Okay. That's fair. Um, enough. Similarly, if we need to get past anyone, don't go barreling straight past. Wait no, till they no, indicate, no. or until I tell you. Hold back. Um, the box on this, same as most cars here, semi-automatic. So you've got no clutch. Your left foot just stays out of the way. Just use yeah. your right foot for acceleration and brake. Uh, using the paddles to change gear, so right hand is up, mm -hmm. left hand is down. Yeah. When you change it up, uh, you don't need to, to come off the throttle, just click it and, and you're okay. Around here, we just oh, and they, they these ones move with the wheel, it depends which car you're in. Some of them yeah. stay yeah. static, that's, some that's of quite good actually because you're holding yeah. control. Um, and basically, we use third for lodge the last corner here right. and for the tight right hand on the far side of the circuit. Yeah, balance going through DL8 up into that bit is it? So yeah lodge is this last one yeah. here that's third and then and you top accelerate top. out of there right. up to fourth maybe get fifth depending on pace. So, yeah, we right go. okay yeah, you're gonna right. have to point me out on that because I just I'm just having Again, a bit short shift in the brain and yeah. stuff. No, no, yeah. Don't worry don't worry. So if you go with all that we'll get cracking. If you want to press the brake for us. Yeah. Yeah, um, clear left. So if you just pull forwards now and join the queue, we're going to need to get you scanned again. And what do you do for a living? Um, I deliver car parts, but I'm also I produce electronic music and retail it worldwide. Oh right, okay. Is that largely online? I presume. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, DJ, produce electronic music, okay. motorsport fanatic, never missed a Grand Prix since the age of eight. Mm, <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those kind of... I've got to the age now where I do occasionally <laughs> go, oh, I missed it, never mind. <laughs> um, 
So did you get down to Silverstone and stuff? And uh, No, I've not actually been to a Grand Prix meeting. Right. I, I've watched it all on TV and stuff like Sometimes that. Sometimes it's better to be Thank honest. you. Thank you. Okay, you bang your window up. <coughs> Head on out and work it up to third as quick as you can really and then um, as we come onto the track just you know don't hesitate or anything just go straight on but keep it to the right initially um, feel the pedal a bit better in this
intimidating the Audi because I think my brain was just going into like, oh, I know what I'm doing, and then, and then I had to listen more to the guy, yeah, yeah. and it was like a case of right, yeah, you know, I need to be paying a bit more attention and not kind of going in there thinking you know it all. So no, well, that's always a good attitude to have, you know, because generally. Um, yeah, it's like anything. I, I used to, uh, my dad was a pilot 